What's good, Jess Setters? Now, Big Glow. Glorilla is facing some issues with her hit song, FNF. If y'all not familiar, FNF has been killing the internet. It got the internet on fire right now. I mean, the radio is playing it back to back to back. I mean, and she just did a song with Cardi B, so her career is skyrocketing right now. Now, unfortunately, she's facing some legal issues right now over the song with the producer, Hit Kid, who produced the song. So basically, they're going back and forth over a contract that was signed. Basically, Hit Kid is saying, hey, you signed something without my knowledge. Actually, let me go ahead and read some quotes from Hit Kid himself. He says, so basically, these folks are trying to take me to court over F and F because they want to own the song. But they want to own the song to put it on this EP, which both parties knew. Now, he also said. So tell me how you going to put F and F in your contract without telling me after. I told you in your manager every day that we was in L.A. with Sweetie that labels are going to try to sign you because F and F. So watch out. I also told you to let me know when labels reach out so we can be on the same page. But you still went and signed my song without telling me. And lastly, he says, I did my best to protect you and the girls. This is only a portion of what I've been through. I'm bringing light to this before word get out like I'm the bad guy. I'm a stand up guy and I stand on business and morals. So, yeah, basically what I just said, like they're having a little bit of tension because of a contract that was signed. So basically, here kid is saying you sign something without my permission and Glorilla is saying something totally different. Matter of fact, this is what Glorilla had to say. She said, N-Word's been salty ever since I ain't signed to their label to be a group for zero dollars. Shake my head. Now, she also said, one, th one more thing before I log out, N-Word. You signed that song away the first week without me knowing for 50K because you didn't know how big it was going to be. Should I keep going? She asked. So this is a pretty heated situation. Now, I'm not taking sides at all. I'm not against Hit Kid. I'm not against Glorilla. I just want to use this video as a learning lesson for a lot of my independent artists out there because you never know what song is going to take off, right? So I want to tell y'all two things, right? I'm going to tell y'all about non-exclusive rights and exclusive rights. You got to understand these things. So basically... When you get together with a team of people and you do a split sheet that says you, a producer, another artist, who knows, right? Y'all all have what's called non-exclusive rights, meaning you can sign the song away non-exclusively only without telling any other party in the group. So that means legally you have the rights to sign to make some money off the record. Because think of how annoying it would be if every time you wanted to make a deal, make some money off a song, you had to get everybody permission, no matter where they are in the world, what's going on in their life. You had to get everybody permission to sign off. Now, non-exclusively, you are protected. However, this is a huge however, exclusive rights. When it comes down to exclusive rights, selling the exclusive rights to a song, you need to get every party involved to sign off on that i've gone through this personally in the sync licensing uh the sync licensing world because i do sync licensing as well as some of y'all don't know i also am signed to a few sync libraries so basically how this work is let me give you all example so basically i was signed to a sync library one of the sync libraries i'm signed to it's a non-exclusive library however they still kind of do things on exclusive protocol. So basically, some of the songs I've worked on were not able to get pitched by them because everybody didn't sign off. Right. So I don't usually do work for hires, meaning I hire somebody and they just kind of go away. No, I say, hey, if you do the song with me, you deserve a percentage as well. And we just split everything equally. That's the type of businessman I am. You know, I don't like to just sign somebody off and just, hey, go away. No, because. Really, if you do that, the uh, uh, average producer, anybody with any kind of business savvy ain't going to do that, number one. Not for a cheap price, right? And number two, 
they not going to give you nothing that's really worthwhile if they know you're just trying to sign them away. They're probably going to give you something they made in like two minutes, right? <laughs> that's going to be kind of trash. So, again, I make sure everybody eat. Now, the issue with that, though, is some of the songs weren't able to get uh, pitched by that service because even though I reached out to some of the people I've worked with, they say, oh, yeah, I'll get to it. Oh, yeah, I'll sign it. Yada, yada, yada. And you know me, I I maybe ask you once or twice, but if you're not going to do it, you're not going to do it. So they don't sign away on the song. And I ask the company, hey, can we do it? It's a non-exclusive. They're like, no, because basically their idea is like, hey, we don't want any drama. We don't, even though this is a nine exclusive company, we, we just don't want no drama. We don't, if we pitch this song and get placed, we don't want nobody trashing the song, trashing the network or something. So let's just make sure everybody's on board. I guess that's where they're coming from. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get those songs placed. So basically what I'm saying is some companies will do that, but it's some other companies that don't care, <laughs> right? If you're dealing with a company that's worth billions of dollars, they're not thinking about exclusive or not because they got the money to go to court. They say that again. They got the, they got the bag to go to court. They got the bag to be in court for years and not even lose a second of sleep. So this is how the game works. Let me show y'all. Let me tell y'all how the game really works. When you're an independent artist, right? And you come out with a song, it'll start buzzing. it get hot. What the labels are doing today is they're trying to get the artists as quick as possible. They're like a hawk in the sky. Okay, this song going crazy on TikTok. Let's hurry up and sign this artist to a 360 deal. Because we want to sign them before they actually start to learn how the music business works. Let me say that again. They really want to sign these artists before they learn how the music business works. That's why the push for young artists is so crazy. It's like, oh, you got to be young. You got to be, you know, because they don't want you to know how the music business works so they can get you in that 360. So now you got this song that's popping from a young artist who don't really know what's going on. And again, I'm not saying this will happen to Glorilla. I'm just giving y'all some gems. You got a song that's popping off from a young artist that don't know how the business works. They sign that artist. They make that artist pop off. That artist starts to pop off or whatever. And they're getting so much more money on the back end. So let's say they might sign you for a few thousand dollars. You're just lucky to be in there, right? <laughs> like, I'm buying my mama a house. <laughs> Think you made it to the league or something. It's not the case. Really, they got the W and you got the L. So, like with this F and F song, this song was going crazy. So, of course, they're gonna hurry up and try to sign her. That's how it go down. That's how it go down in this industry today. Especially with the way the internet is and social media, record labels and pub companies today, they have to be on it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they hire a group of people that just watch social media all day, right? Who popping off? Who got a buzz? Let's hurry up and get them. Because now artists are getting smarter. Artists are listening to channels like myself. Not trying to brag or nothing. But they listen to channels like myself. Some bigger channels. They listen to million dollars worth of game. Drink chaps. They listen to channels where people are, are dropping knowledge. Right? The knowledge is growing faster. It's getting out there. So even the younger artists are learning about publishing it. Don't sign a 360 deal. Beware of the word perpetuity, beware of power of attorney. So everybody learning stuff in bits and pieces. So even though people are not getting all the game at once, they're getting enough to know, okay, this contract kind of weird. Let me send it to somebody who know a little bit better than me. Right. So these labels, they got to hurry up and try to get these artists as soon as they got a buzz. Now, again, I'm not saying that's what happened with Glorilla or anything. I'm just giving y'all an example of how this game really works. So I get where Hit Kid coming from. And I also get where Glorilla is coming from. Like, again, I don't know what happened exactly in their situation. I'm not really speaking on their business. Like I said, this video really is to give y'all an outlook of how the business work. Exclusive and non-exclusive rights. Now, non-exclusively, like I said earlier, Glorilla, either Glorilla or Hit Kid have that right legally to sign for something non-exclusive but if it's exclusive if it's oh we gonna own this in perpetuity and we gonna have control over this that's exclusive you cannot legally do that without everybody being involved you will get sued right i can't do that with my records that i've collaborated with understand what i'm saying i'll get sued the company i'm signing to will get sued some companies care 
Smaller companies care and they'll make sure everybody sign off. Bigger companies worth billions of dollars, they don't care. They do this all the time because if they had to wait, uh, if they had to wait on everybody to sign off, think of how long that would take for them to sign the artist. So they're like, just get it over with. Just get it over with. We don't know everybody involved. Just go ahead and sign it over with. Uh, sign it over. And whatever else happens after that, we'll just work it out. We're worth billions of dollars, okay? We need to settle, we'll settle. See, nobody really care. I'll say it like this. I'm not dissing the song. I'll say it like this, though. Nobody really care about the song, per se, no more. Glorilla career is taking off. She don't really care about the song no more. The company don't really care about the song. It's about her career. It's about what they're getting on the back end now. So they'll settle with whoever they need to settle with. They'll give you all the pub, whatever you need. But they're playing the long game. You got to understand these labels, these pub companies, they're playing the long game. They don't care about one song with a little bit of buzz. <laughs> they'll make another song like that. They're about having control over the artist. That's the whole point of the whole situation. It's not just about the song. Right, they can easily snatch that song off the radio with a with a phone call with a push of a button. Hey, don't play play that song no more, and just and just go on to the next one. Right now, his kid says something else that stood out to me. And again, I'm not saying he's telling the truth. I'm not saying she's telling the truth or lying. It's just something he said that stood out to me. You know, he says, "I told her her manager not to use the lawyers from the label. They still did." Glorilla used in-house attorneys at CMG who negotiated a deal that favored their artists. Now, I wanted to speak on this because this is something I've mentioned in previous videos. Never get the lawyers from the actual company. Always get a lawyer from the outside. And again, like I said, I'm not saying he's telling the truth. I'm not saying he's lying. I don't know what the real truth is. I'm just saying for all my independent artists out there, if you ever get in a situation where you're about to sign a deal, Never use their lawyers. <laughs> Never use their lawyers. It's going to be a complete bias. Get your own lawyers outside of that. The whole goal for them is to secure the artist, secure the bag by any means necessary. Now, I wish them both success in their careers. I mean, I really like Glorilla. I think she's the next big artist. She already did a song with Cardi B. I think she's out of here. Hit Boy made a great track. I mean, Best of luck to him in his career. Now, I'm going to give y'all some tips on how y'all can avoid this kind of situation. Now, again, I don't know exactly all their business. I don't know what happened, what transpired. However, I can give y'all some tips to avoid this kind of situation. First off, make sure you have split sheets. For those of y'all that don't know what split sheets are, split sheets are basically a piece of paper listing to the percentage of everybody's work. So basically, let's say there's two people. Let's say there's a producer and an artist, right? Artists get 50%, producer get 50%. That's the most basic way I can break it down. Or let's say there's multiple people in the room, multiple people working on a song. Y'all all say, let's split everything equally. Make sure you write that down. And on this split sheet, make sure you have the IPI number. The IPI number is basically like a social security number for an artist. And make sure you have the performing performance rights organization associated with that artist on the split sheet so i'm talking about bmi ascap whatever csac make sure you list that make sure you list the ipi number performance rights organization make sure you have the emails all current up-to-date emails on the split sheet and make sure you got everybody phone number if it's a work phone number that's fine too because you never know when a big deal is going to hit right you never know when you might have an exclusive offer and they say, listen, we're going to give you the bag, but we can't give you the bag until everybody sign off. Right. And if you can't reach the people that worked on the song, you're just going to lose a crazy bag. Like I said earlier, non exclusively, you can make deals non exclusively. But a lot of these big companies want things exclusively. So if you really want to get to the bag, you got to make sure you got everybody's proper information. That is key. That is vital. Make sure you get split sheets. It don't have to be a professional split sheet, man. You can write it down on a regular piece of paper. Technology, I would say email it to people. That way you can really hold on to it. A piece of paper, it might get crumpled up, whatever. So you might want to like 
to do it electronically. That's how I always do it. And this type of thing could save you thousands of dollars, right? Or could gain you thousands of dollars, I should say. Another thing you need to do is register the copyright. I know a lot of people say, as soon as you write it down, it's copyrighted. You don't need to do it. Listen. Yeah, as soon as you write it down, you got what's called your natural copyright, right? You wrote it down. You recorded it in your phone. Yeah, you got a natural copyright. But listen, listen to this, though. It's not going to hold up that well in court. If somebody take your song and all you got is this natural copy. Listen, <laughs> you're going to have a hard time con con convincing a lawyer to really take this case on for real. You're going to have a real tough time getting your money back. But when you register the copyright right now, it's about fifty five dollars for a single song, eighty five for multiple songs. Right. When you register the copyright, you are registering that copyright with the United States government. Let me say that again. You are registering the copyright with the United States government. No, no music company, no, no label, no billion dollar executive. It don't matter how much money they got. They not more powerful than that. So always register the copyright because once you do that, it's an open and shut case. Anybody that takes from you, they gonna have to deal with the government and they don't want to deal with that. Now, again, this ain't legal advice or business advice. However, this is just knowledge I've picked up over the years from examining different cases from different artists and songwriters and producers. Right. Definitely register your copyright to help you, it will protect you much better than a natural copyright. Now, if you follow all these things through and you stay in touch with the people you made these songs with, you keep good relationships with them, you know, you keep up to date emails, up to date phone numbers. If the songs start to uh, pop off or whatever, you might get a label or pub company interested. It'll be easier for you to reach these people in time so you don't lose these opportunities, right? And you don't have this type of problem where people are bashing each other on social media. Nah, you don't want that. And another thing for all my independent artists out there. Remember, I got a ghost writing service on Fiverr.com. I'm writing hooks, verses, and full songs. We can co-write, collab, whatever you need. I got you. The link to my service will be down below in the description and in my bio as well. And I also want you to get your content together as independent artists. And I got the link to the service that has helped my channel grow to over 22,000 subscribers in less than a year, y'all. That's right. Over 22,000 subscribers in less than a year. The name of this service is vidIQ. vidIQ will get your titles right, your tags, thumbnails, whatever you need that got you. The link to vidIQ will be down below in my description and in my bio as well. Make sure you like this video. When you like the video, it helps my engagement. It helps the YouTube algorithm push the video more. So if you, if all y'all can like the video or if the majority of y'all can like the video and leave a comment, comments are also great as well for engagement. YouTube will help push this video, all right? So if you're a true supporter of me, you're a true jet setter, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, all right? Peace.